Hey, you. Yeah, you. Nice bathing suit, man. The flamingos are a nice touch. He's spending the day at the water park, but finds that water slides are slower than his professor's organic chemistry lecture the other day. But while he's working on his tan, over here, James is reading Jules Verne's Journey to the Center of the Earth. He thinks Axel, the main character in the book, is a grade-A scaredy-cat. If he were the one assigned to embark on a journey to the center of the planet, James knows he would be anything but afraid. But that's because he is bold and afraid of very few things, which is why these water slides are anything but thrilling. And then, James has it. A crazy idea. What if he reenacted Verne's book and made the trip to the center of the Earth through a volcano? Talk about the most epic water slide ever. But what's the real science behind this idea? Is it even possible? Although James is anxious to show off his Olympic-grade swan dive, it's important to understand a few important things. So hang on to your board shorts, Jamie boy. Let's dive right in. The Earth is separated into four layers. The outermost layer is called the crust. Then there's the mantle, which is made of silicate rocks, magnesium, and iron. After that, there's the outer core. At around 5,000 degrees Celsius, the Earth's outer core is so hot that its makeup of iron and nickel is pure liquid. From there, the final layer of our Earth is the inner core. This will technically be the center of our planet. Made up of iron and nickel just like the outer core, this layer is so deep within the Earth that because of its immense pressure, it is actually a solid. Reaching temperatures well above 5,000 degrees Celsius, the inner core is as hot as the surface of the Sun. Now that we know exactly what the center of the Earth is like and where it is, let's review the anatomy of the best entrance for this quest. A volcano. There are three main parts to a volcano the vent or crater, the pipe, and the magma chamber. Axel, in Jules Verne's novel, entered a volcano through its highest point, the vent. From there, the pipe acts as a tunnel or slide into the magma chamber. This large pool of liquid rock located in the mantle is under great pressure, and if given enough time, can lead to fractures in the surrounding rocks, causing the chamber to flood with hot magma. So, technically, James, Jules Verne had it wrong. If you traveled down the pipe of a volcano, you wouldn't reach the center of the Earth you wouldn't even make it halfway. Although the characters in the novel do manage to reach the center of the planet, they found a hollow pit, which we know now is not true. According to science, to reach the center of the Earth, you would not only have to endure extremely hot temperatures on your way down, but you would also need to swim through liquid nickel and iron, and then find a drill strong enough to penetrate through that inner core. It goes without saying that Verne took some fictional liberties in his 1864 novel. Some other things he mentioned that you would see on your way to the center of the planet include a subterranean ocean, giant mushrooms, prehistoric creatures, and then proto-human civilizations at the center of the planet. Now this guy's got a wild imagination. But that's not to say that humans outside of fictional stories have not attempted to reach the center of the Earth. In 1965, the Soviet Union began a scientific drilling project called the Kola Superdeep Borehole. At 40,230 feet deep and 23 centimeters in diameter, the project ended in 1995 but rests until this day as the deepest artificial point on the planet. So, James, I know you may have been looking at some of the world's active volcanoes, like Mount Vesuvius in Italy or Hecla in Iceland, to get a head start on this newfound dream of yours, but I wouldn't recommend diving headfirst into a magma chamber in hopes of reaching the center of the Earth. Looks like you better learn to love those water slides after all. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more adventures like this one with James. I mean, he just tried to jump into a volcano for the thrill of it. So, help us keep a close eye on him. Who knows what other shenanigans he'll get up to next.